intermediate uveitis, how to manage. Let's watch the slit lamp video for today. So to see straight away, we can see that there's evidence of quite a significant amount of iris pigment on the anterior lens capsule. And that tells us that this patient has had posterior synechiae. And actually there's still posterior synechiae inferiorly. And we can tell that because the pupil isn't round. We can also see inferiorly in the cornea, quite a lot of pigmented keratic precipitates. And that tells us that this patient has had previous episodes of uveitis with KPs because those pigmented KPs tell us that it's a chronic older problem. Now I can see the occasional cell and clearly this patient is on treatment for their acute anterior uveitis and it's coming towards the end of their course of treatment. But the most important thing is that we can actually also see some cells in the anterior vitreous, which tells us that this patient has intermediate uveitis. So they have both acute anterior as well as intermediate uveitis. And so we need to make sure we treat this patient aggressively. We need to check the fundus. We need to check for the presence of any retinal vasculitis or any retinitis. We also need to perform an OCT of the macula to check for, cyst you know, for cystoid macular edema. And initially these patients will be treated with intensive topical corticosteroids. But if this isn't sufficient, we may even consider some oral steroids. And if this patient's having recurrent episodes with some systemic involvement as well with the underlying cause, we may even need to consider some systemic steroid sparing immunomodulatory or immunosuppressive treatments such as methotrexate or mycophenolate as well. You can even consider anti-TNF treatments such as adalimumab, but this would be at the initiation of specialist uveitis services. Hope you found this video useful.